In our last video, we learned how to update the table view cells to have some text inside of them. But that's pretty boring if all of the cells have the same information, so let's figure out how to make them different. We're going to be exploring MS Index Path in this video. So let's get started. In the data source method cell for row at index path, we noticed that we had an argument index path that is of type MS Index Path. We see the care star, so we know that this must be an object. Index path is a very general class, but it has two properties that we commonly pay attention to. And these properties are row and section. Thus, through the use of index path, you can locate where a cell is located. For an ex example, an index path that had section 0 and, and row 1 would be the second cell in the first section. Why is this the second row and not the first? Well, remember the zero index counting that computer scientists use. Let's put this into practice. Instead of having our cells simply display this text, let's switch that so that they display their current row number. Let's change, or we can remove the string here. We're going to add a left bracket since this is going to be a method call. And we can type in a string, string with format. And we can do at quote row percent i, which was our integer token. And we can do index path dot row. And now let's go ahead and run our application. And we'll see row 0, row 1, and row 2 print out. 